this is Kelsey here and today we're going to be creating cookies in a jar keepsakes. They're wonderful for party favors, wedding favors, or gifts for Christmas or any friends or family. Everyone loves chocolate chip cookies and this is a really simple way to do it because all of your dry ingredients are going to be right in this jar and all of the, uh, your recipient of this is going to have to do is add the wet ingredients and bake. So it's really fun, really easy, and really quick to do. I did these for my dad's wedding and I got like 20 of them done in about an hour and a half. It was really fast and really simple. So what we're going to start with doing is we have our ingredients list here. This is all the dry ingredients. We're not doing anything with wet ingredients. We're just doing the dry ingredients here. Eggs won't sit in a jar, obviously, or anything like that. So we're going to start with our flour. We have one and two thirds cup flour here in this jar. You want a slightly bigger mixing bowl because we're going to add all of our white dry ingredients right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to this bowl. All right. I have half a cup of white sugar here. It's going to go in the bowl as well. And we've got one teaspoon of baking soda, which I will add. Okay, and what we're going to do there is stir it together. So just kind of give it all a good stir together. Once you got that all pretty stirred together, you're going to grab your jar. These jars can be found anywhere. It's just your basic one quart mason jar. They can be found at craft stores, but you can also buy them in bulk in canning sections at supermarket. If you go to a supermarket and buy about 12 of them, you're going to end up saving some money because they cost about $2 a piece in the craft store or about $12 for $10 at a supermarket. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And with the jars, we like a layering effect. If you just put everything in together, it's going to look kind of ugly. So I like to achieve a layering effect here. What you want to do is fill about half of it up with your white mix. And I'll just use part of my measure here. Put about half of it in. break up your white layer with half a cup of packed brown sugar. You want to make sure it's packed down so you get all the brown sugar in there. You pack it down to make sure it's an even amount of measured brown sugar. Kind of just scoop that in. And use a little bit of a spoon to even it out if you need to. You kind of put a little, break it up a little bit if you want and put the rest in. a little bit of the color balance and break. All right. We want to finish up with the rest of our flour mixture. And if you got a funnel, sometimes it's easier. Make a little bit less of a mess. It's always kind of hard to get into. The jar, and what makes it a little bit easier sometimes is they have small mouth and wide list jars, or wide mouth jars. If you get the wide mouth, it makes it a little bit easier for getting all the ingredients into the jar without making a bit of a mess. So I've got that there. I'm going to do that even out. So we have a little bit of the line separation. And right on top is when you add your chocolate chips. Um, it's good to put the chocolate chips on top. When I was doing this, I tried to put the chocolate chips on the bottom. And it ended up actually not looking very good because all the flour seeped into the chocolate, so it ended up looking kind of messy. And I did about a cup and a half of chocolate chips. If you're baking for chocolate chip lovers or people who are chocolateholics, you can go ahead and put in some more or some less or less if you don't like as many chocolate chips in your cookies. Finish those in. Push them down a little bit. And that's pretty much the contents, and you just put your drawer on. There we go. So we have our cookie recipe in a jar. 
like you want to spice it up a little bit because that by itself is kind of boring. That's what I did over here. You can cut up squares of fabric and put it on top and it will just put it before you put the lid on and you get a little bit of flare here. We even did some cutouts for the wedding favor when the wedding was. I did a little bit of design. And you also want to make sure to put your recipe on the back so people know what they're going to be making. And we will right now have the recipe up on our screen. Okay, and now that you can see the recipe, you want to make sure that you write down every last word that we have up. So your guest or your recipient knows what they're going to do and how they're going to bake their cookies. And that's everything.